Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Hacienda is very pleased and proud to present the one and only king of the banjo, Eddie Peabody. Here he is. Oh, golly, you're playing the wrong tune for little Eddie. That's the Army tune in Oh, golly. I want all the folks here in the Hacienda to know how fond I am of the Army. And the Marine Corps and all my buddies in the Air Force, Coast Guard, oh, golly. But I belong to another branch of the service, fellas. I wonder if you guys in the symphony happen by chance to know my tune. Let me hear it, will you? Funny, fellas. Every time I hear that, though, I run like mad. <laughs> you know, folks, all joking aside, this, the many times I've been here at the Hacienda and uh, fun, fun, fun with the Bruce Davis Quintet, I thought, wouldn't it be fun now if we could record an entire show so that you sweet people who uh, might be listening to this record can enjoy what goes on here at the Hacienda. So that's exactly what's taking place right now. So... Without further ado, fellas, let's warm the fingers up a little bit. good, but wasn't it loud, huh? You know what, fellas, I was just thinking. Maybe a little medley of nice oldies for our neighbors tonight. Might hit them just right. Let's see what we can do.
I get this thing warmed up, folks? <laughs> you know, fellas, I couldn't help but think about these nice oldies we're playing tonight. They don't write tunes like that anymore. By golly, they don't. I wonder whatever happened to this one. I know I'm not good looking, but I'm clean. <laughs> Have you looked around, fellas, and seen all the pretty gals with us tonight? Aren't we lucky? Everywhere you look are pretty gals, and I'll bet you they haven't had a personal serenade in the last five minutes. Dougie, I feel something. Here we go.
fellas, I enjoyed that. I really did. I wanted our good neighbors to know our little banjo doesn't have to sound this loud to them over this wonderful PA system here. I have a little gadget in my pocket I sometimes use. It's a little violin mute. And by placing it on the bridge of the banjo like this, some of the people told me, says, Eddie, now that really does it. That softens the thing up until it's almost tolerable. <laughs> almost. Have you got those soft lights, fellas? I was just thinking of a theme song. And everybody knows it. And we all love the little Italian fellow that wrote it. His name is Frankie Carr. folks are going to like the little banjo all muted up like that. That gives me a color of a brainstorm. You know, some weeks ago I found myself doing a guest spot on Art Linkletter's house party show. You know his CBS TV thing he does every afternoon that's so wonderful? Well, I've been with Art several times, folks. And this particular time, I flew out to Hollywood, got in the studio, and by jolly, Art isn't there. He's vacationing someplace out in the Hawaiian Islands, and his son Jack is taking the show over, who incidentally is a very clever guy and a swell guy, too. Well, here I am, sitting up on top of the piano in the studio, Muzzy Marcelino and the boys all around me, and Jack comes over to me and says, Eddie, look, now Dad's watching the show from over in the island someplace. Come on, let's surprise him and do something that you have never before done on the banjo for him. Well, I got thinking and thinking and thinking, what, what's this going to be? What can I do? Well, <laughs> While I'm sitting up on the piano, I went into this.
Thank you, thank you very much. You know, I bet a lot of you folks didn't know that these kind of tunes were possible on our only American instrument, the banjo. A lot of people look at you with a banjo and they, they think of nothing but Dixie tunes and Dixie uh, melodies and so forth. Well, you'd be surprised what you can get out of this crazy little old harp. A lot of fun. You know, many times folks on stage, theaters and so forth, I've given out with this little imitation of two banjos playing at the same time, which still some people can't figure out, so I must take the trick apart tonight and show you how it's done. First of all, you have a little pick in your right hand, and you start in simply with a waltz beat, like this. See how simple that is? Why, anybody can do that. Now, this imitation trick, I don't care who does it, they all have to do it the same way. You add the tremolo to this right hand, and you get a certain effect. In other words, you're watching me do one thing, and you're listening to something else. And it's so simple. knows and we'll play it straight a little bit and then we'll hook the trick up so you can see how the thing works explain this to you if you haven't seen it before. It's a sort of a, uh, a combination of instruments actually. You know when I first started making records for the dock people I thought, gee Eddie can't you dream up something that's got a little different sound in the recording studios so that you play two or three tunes in the banjo and the, and the folks hear another sound on their hi-fi or stereo sets. So I dreamed up this instrument and we call it an electric banjoline for the want of a better name. Same Vega company in Boston makes it, makes my banjos. So here we've got six strings, you finger four, two magnetic pickups, the usual wire hanging out here. I got a little hand vibrator on the tailpiece that I call my schmelz department. <laughs> Where do you hear it?
is something kind of cute here, too. The fellows were telling me, he says, now look, Eddie, if any of the customers ask for any of those Hawaiian ditties that you've recorded on the dot labels, we will find a costume for you so that you can look the part. Well, right now is the time, guys. Now, it's happened. You're going to find a costume for me? Well, bless your heart. If that ain't something, look at here. Costumes and everything. Why can't we make a little Hawaiian feel? Johnny, come on down here with that fine guitar of yours. Frankie over here with the bass. That's it. Now we're in bit Soft, pretty lights. We're off. Here we go, guys. <laughs> flowers you're wearing. They're made out of fiber wood, which comes from Formosa. I'm very serious about this. It's handmade and it'll last a lifetime. It's looking just like that. Have you smelled of it? Isn't that something? Boy, you can't pick those things up in the clubs around here. No, 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 no. <laughs>
want to Because we got a little banjo player sitting right over here. He's about 10, 11 years old with his folks. Bless his heart for coming on down to see us. And he's got a sort of a favorite tune he hoped that I would play for him. The world's waiting for the sunrise. And you know what? I bet you he hasn't heard the verse on this in a long time. <laughs> thinking about playing some nice old Dixie tunes for you. Nobody bought. Yeah, this goes. 